What is up, everybody? It's your boy Phil Shocker, the 96 Judge all here with our week three matchup of APA Indigo. I'm going to say it right now, if you didn't check out what week two was, week two was not played because I was very frustrated and upset with that game. And I was partially acting like a sports sport, but also there was unnecessary conduct that was needed with the commentary from some random people and by my opponent's plays. But I'm not going to go into it, I'm not going to detail it. We're going to move on. We basically just pointed off we lost. One and one. We're going against a team which I literally have no chance of winning. I literally have no chance of winning. But I built the best team I possibly could have built for this team in the end. Um, but yeah, we are Aragons against Key on the Beast and the Beach Side Beat Drills. You guys can't hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to join the Pro Crew today because we're really the king of the crew. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the battle. He literally brought the five I was expecting him to bring, but he did not bring the Sableye, surprisingly enough. Sableye not coming was a. Not gonna lie. A bit of a shock. A bit of a shock, I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the battle here. I'm going to lead off with my champ, as he's going to lead off with the Pelipper here. Uh, he's actually going to hard swap into Swamper, which is very interesting. He's going to go for the Waterfall here. I'm going to go for the Iron Defense. And I decided to go for Iron Defense again, because there's no way he's going to knock me out. But I, I should have just went in the attack, predicting him to do that. I could have gotten some major damage off on this thing, but now Fortress goes down. In comes Champ. I go for the weather ball, and for some reason he stayed in. He's. I'm just. I'm gonna say this right now. There's several times Can makes these weird plays that I just don't understand. Like this was one play. Like I don't understand why you stay in when you can go into your two, to three flying types. Because Ludicolo, if you keep it around, does the work versus my team. It does. I don't understand why you sack away probably one of your two wing cons for this game. I just don't understand it. So I bring in my Dragalge as it's going to take a skull to the face. And no surprise, I get burned. So right here, I decided to go for the Focus Blast because I know he's going to go hard Mel Metal here. He cannot afford to lose this thing. He clicks Ice Beam. I got a crit, which mattered, by the way. It didn't matter. But I, can't, I don't understand this play. I click Sludge Wave and I kill. I don't know why you would sacrifice your one of... Like, one to three or one or two win cons, like, can win you this game easy. Like, I I legitimately don't understand that. I don't understand that. But now he goes Mega Perk, Mega Perk. He must have not had an Earthquake if he's not clicking it personally. I go on Tsunami here. I was not going to click Dragon Dance. I really wish I had clicked Ice Fang on the off chance of a switch right there. I'm going to go for the Mole Breaker here. He does reveal to be Choice Scarf and gets a crit, but the crit obviously does not matter. Uh, Gyarados here, though, gets a kill here by clicking Crunch. We're going to pick up a kill here with Mega Garo. And down goes the Pelipert. And comes Swampert, though. And uh, even if I had put Jolly max speed, I wasn't outspeeding this thing. So he drops me down. I'm going to go into my top boot boo here. Now, for there's no way he just... I mean, there was two scenarios here. There's a chance that he could just switch out into either Melmetal or Dragonite. Melmetal or Torrent. His best two switches to me right now. He's got three switches that come in on Melmetal right now. On my top of Bulu. Really does. So, I have to play to either kill it or set up. Because I know he'll switch. Since I know he'll switch, I'm going to go for the setup option. He, for some reason, again, stays in. I don't understand it. Now, I will say this. I will say this. If he was predicting me to stay in, like the Dragology play, I can understand somewhat why he would stay in and sack, potentially want to sack off his uh, Ludicolo, because he wanted to know if I was Specs, if you didn't see in the chat earlier. He wanted to know if I was Specs, which, you know, it's okay, but I don't understand why you would sack off your best mod. I would have gone into Malmetal right there, because I knew he was going to click, he would have clicked a Dragon or a Poison type move on me right there in front of me, potentially. So, I, I legitimately don't understand that play. Um, I really don't. And he does poison me, but I have the Lumberry, so I don't even kill him. And with that, that's GG. There's nothing I can do. I lose to this. I lose to Perk right now. And I sack off Champ like I've had anything to do. And now I go into my Necrozma. I can't do anything. And he got flinched to rub salt in the bone. It really did. And with that, that's game. There's nothing I can do. I'll, I'll give him the credit, though. Sludge Wave... I'll give him the credit, though. I'll give him the credit of Sludge Wave Swamper. That's some good tech right there. I was not expecting that. 
If I didn't put that HP investment in like I did, I would have just died right there. So I'll give shoutouts to Keon on that one for the Sludge Wave, Sludge Wave Swamper. I'll give him credit. But I don't understand his plays. It really... Like, I can, you can argue and say the Dragology play, you know, he's willing to risk his potential one of one of few win cons to see if I'm specs not. Okay, so I can understand that. What I don't understand is, I mean, the turn one, he was obviously probably predicting me to click either U-turn or Stone Edge right there. So, obviously there's a reason why he did that. So, that turn, it's okay. Um, the, um, that Bulu play, I don't understand why he did that. I could have literally gotten pretty much all of my health back and killed the Swamper. I would have killed the Swamper. If I had killed the Swamper, there would have been probably a 75-25% chance, 75% his favors to the win. Or, I guess 60-40 means. 60% chance he's going to win it, but a 40% chance I can win this game back. But no, we lose this game 4-0, and I think that actually puts us in that. We won our one match 3-0. Then I think we lost our first week 5-0 in match 2. So now we're minus... So we're now 1-2, minus 6, which is not the best. We're starting to fall really low in the ranks. And there are only... There's only 7 weeks left if we don't start picking up a win. If we probably lose... Our next four games, that's probably the nail in the coffin. Yeah, that's definitely the, If we lose four games, that's the nail in the coffin for us. If it goes to five and five, then it's going to literally become down to differential, buddy. And if I lose six games, if I lose four more games, then I say we can't make playoffs and we're, we're going to be officially cut. Well, not cut, but cut from. Oh, I'm stupid. Cut from the season being we don't make the playoffs. So. It's up in the air right now, but like I said in the team builder and right here, I. There was no way I was going to win this match. This matchup was just too hard on paper for me. This was probably by far the worst matchup and the roughest matchup I have ever had in draft league career. And I've been doing this thing for almost three years now. And I have, like, the one against Love in Infinity, and you guys remember my 96 channel, I literally thought I was going to lose that one too. I mean, there was a fighting chance I could have won, but again, I would have lost at the same time. But I won that one. This one, I legit knew I couldn't beat this rain team. This rain was just too powerful. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I don't really know how I feel about my team. My team is just definitely some random mods and stuff like that. Maybe I'll start doing some trades because I can do unlimited trades. I do have four transactions left, so maybe think about getting some transactions potentially. Change this team up. I don't know. But that is going to be it for the video. I'm sorry I rambled it on. But, you know, I'm going to say this to Kianlo, GG. Um... I don't understand some of your plays, but you must have done it just to want to show off tag and wanted to scout, which is totally fine. That's what your, your main plan was, too. So I got some respect for that, but again, I just questioned that a little bit. But that's what we have for the video, guys. I mean, leave a like if you already. Subscribe if you like, for every day. Because you be killing them out. Like, true. Um, I'll see you in the next draft league battle. And until next one, guys, peace.